Who hasn't heard of the name Bill Gates? After all, he co-founded Microsoft Corporation, so his name is known across the world. Stay tuned, because today's video is dedicated to his life, career, and of course, his car collection. Bill Gates, full name William Henry Gates III, was born in Seattle, Washington on the 28th of October 1955. He is a computer programmer and entrepreneur from the United States who co-founded Microsoft Corporation, the world's largest personal computer software company. At the age of 13, Gates wrote his first software program. In high school, he was part of a group of programmers who computerized their school's payroll system and founded Traf Odata, a company that sold traffic counting systems to municipalities. In 1975, while still a sophomore at Harvard, Gates collaborated with his hometown friend Paul G. Allen to create software for the first microcomputers. They started by porting BASIC, a popular programming language for large computers to microcomputers. With the success of this project, Gates left Harvard during his junior year and co-founded Microsoft with Allen. When Microsoft licensed an operating system called MS-DOS to International Business Machines Corporation, then the world's largest computer supplier and industry pace setter, for use on its first microcomputer, the IBM PC, Gates's sway over the imp for microcomputer industry grew significantly. Following the machine's release in 1981, IBM quickly established the technical standard for the PC industry, and MS-DOS pushed out competing operating systems. While Microsoft's independence strained relations with IBC, Gates skillfully manipulated the larger corporation into becoming permanently dependent on him for critical software. Makers of IBM-compatible PCs, or clones, relied on Microsoft for basic software as well. By the early 1990s, he had established himself as the undisputed ruler of the PC industry. Gates amassed a massive paper fortune as Microsoft's largest individual shareholder, largely due to the company's success. He became a paper billionaire back in 1986, and within a decade his net worth had risen into the tens of billions of dollars, making him the world's richest private individual, according to some estimates. Beginning in 1995 and 1996, Gates refocused Microsoft on the development of consumer and enterprise software solutions for the internet, creating Windows CE operating system platform for networking non-computer devices, such as home televisions and personal digital assistants, and launching the Microsoft Network to compete with America Online and other internet service providers. Gates was well known for his charitable work in addition to his work at Microsoft. In 1994, he founded the William H. Gates Foundation with his then wife, Melinda, which was renamed the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation in 1999 to fund global health programs as well as projects in the Pacific Northwest. The couple also funded North American libraries through the Gates Library Foundation and raised funds for minority study grants through the Gates Millennium Scholars Program in the late 1990s. He stepped down as chairman in February 2014 but remained on the board until 2020. During this period, he received the Presidential Medal of Freedom Inside Bill's Brain, Decoding Bill Gates, a documentary series premiered in 2019, and Gates and his wife divorced two years later. Bill Gates was the world's richest person more than 15 years ago. However, he is currently ranked third among the world's richest people. In fact, based on his previous wealth and earnings, he earns $1,300 per second. Now, consider yourself a multimillionaire who is suddenly separated from your partner. Along with all the money you will have to share, there are some assets you may not want to share. We're talking about a man's prized possessions, his automobiles. In today's feature, we'll walk you through Bill Gates' cars and let you decide which one would have been the most difficult for him to let go of. It's time to take a look at his car collection. Here are six cars we can see in Bill Gates' garage. Number six. Porsche 911. The 1979 Porsche 911 is Bill Gates' favourite car. In September 1964, the re-engined sports car was introduced. 
Bill Gates' first automobile was a 1979 Porsche 911. This one was especially dear to him. Our first vehicle is a 1979 Porsche 911. Bill Gates no longer owns this car because it was auctioned off in Austria in 2012 for $80,000. This 911 needed to be mentioned because it was the early morning ride that Gates took to Microsoft when the company was based in Albuquerque. According to sources, he enjoyed driving this car very fast on desert roads. And for this, he received three speeding tickets and was arrested once in 1997. Number five, the Porsche 959 Sports. Another Porsche from Bill Gates's collection. In the 1980s, this was one of the most technologically advanced cars on the market. Under the hood, was a powerful twin-turbo flat-six engine that produced 444 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque. Do you know what its 0 to 60 miles an hour time was? It was definitely less than 4 seconds. Another noteworthy feature of this model is that only 337 units were produced worldwide. It's no surprise that this is owned by one of the world's wealthiest people. The Porsche 959 Sport was equipped with a 2.8-litre twin-turbocharged engine and a six-speed manual transmission. Notably, at the time of its release, it was the world's fastest street-legal production car. It was also one of the first high-performance sports cars to feature AWD. Number four, the Ferrari 348. Old but precious. Another car among Bill Gates's vehicles that deserves to be mentioned is the Ferrari 348. Gates used this car so much in the sands that it became known as the June Buggy. This was another limited edition vehicle with only 8,000 units produced between 1989 and 1985. The Ferrari 348 is a mid-engined V8 powered two-seat sports car produced by the Italian automaker Ferrari which replaced the 328 back in 1989 and was in production until 1995. It was the final V8 model designed by Enzo Ferrari before his death, and it was put into production posthumously. The Ferrari 348 is a sports car with a mid-engine. It has a 3.4-litre Tipo F119 V8 engine with a 5-speed manual transmission. It is also one of Bill Gates' favourite cars. Number three, the Porsche Taken. While the rest of the world is going electric, Bill Gates has done it in style. He owns an all-electric Porsche Taken, which debuted at the 2015 Frankfurt Motor Show. The Taken Turbo costs nearly twice as much as the Tesla Model S. If you want to own this car, you'll need to spend around $150,000 on it. This one goes from 0 to 60 miles an hour in just 3 seconds, which is to be expected from Bill Gates who loves fast machines. Bill Gates' car collection demonstrates that he is a Porsche enthusiast. The Porsche Taken is a battery electric saloon and shooting brake manufactured by the German automaker Porsche. At the 2019 Frankfurt Motor Show, the Taken was unveiled in full production form. As Porsche's first series production electric vehicle, it is available in several variants with varying performance levels, and future models may include additional derivatives. More than 20,000 Takens were delivered in 2020, its first year on the market, accounting for 7.4% of total Porsche volume. The current Formula E safety car is a modified Taken S. Number two. The Ford Focus. Surprisingly, this is correct. Isn't it true that not everyone enjoys driving fast sports cars to work every day? Bill Gates also owns a Focus and drove it to work during his final days at Microsoft in 2018. To clarify, the Ford Focus is a good car that sells well in the markets where it is available. The 2.0-litre TIVCT direct injection engine powers the Ford Focus. The Ford Focus is a versatile vehicle. The Ford Focus is a compact car produced by Ford Motor Company. It was developed as part of Alexander Trotman's Ford 2000 plan, 
which aimed to globalise model development and sell one compact vehicle globally. The original Focus was designed primarily by Ford of Europe's German and British teams. The Focus replaced the Ford Escort in Europe in July 1998, and it also replaced the Mazda Familiar derived Ford Laser in Asia and Oceania, as well as the laser based North American Escort. The fourth generation Focus began production in Germany and China back in 2018. Number one, the Chevrolet Suburban. The Chevrolet Suburban is a line of automobiles produced by General Motors Chevrolet division. The nameplate was first used in 1934 for the 1935 model year in the United States, making it the longest continuously used automobile nameplate in production. It has historically been one of GM's most profitable vehicles. The 1935 Carriol Suburban was one of the first all-metal bodied station wagons produced. It now has a full-size SUV body style and three engine choices a 5.3 litre V8, a 6.2 litre V8, or a 3 litre inline six turbo diesel. His garage also houses a Chevrolet Suburban. It has a 5.3 litre V8 engine and a 10 speed automatic transmission. He is frequently seen in the Chevrolet Suburban. Now, this is not part of his car collection, but it's worth a mention. I'm talking about a Bombardier BD700 Global Express. I know I was supposed to talk about Bill Gates's cars, but I couldn't stop myself from mentioning this $40 million private plane that can seat 19 people at once and is definitely something that only the wealthy can afford. Gates owns two Gulfstream G650 private jets, each worth $65 million. I don't think I need to tell you how luxurious and powerful these birds are. It's known as the Rolls-Royce of jet engines. This was an inside look at Bill Gates's cars and of course his private jets. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer and which one would be the most difficult for you to let go of. With his intellect, Gates has become a successful entrepreneur and world leader in innovation. He has everything from private jets to a lavish 66,000 square foot mansion. He also has a gold heart in addition to his wealth. He has contributed to many noble causes around the world. Finally, I'd like to share one of my favorite quotes from the star of today's video. Success is a lousy teacher. It seduces smart people into thinking they can't lose. Gates correctly stated that success is an illusion created in the minds of men who are going through a good time in their lives. Success is a sweet fruit that can bring you happiness, but it can also leave you devastated in the blink of an eye. Except for change, nothing in life is permanent. Don't put too much stock in your success. Instead, concentrate on your loved ones and what makes you happy. Success comes and goes, but we should not lose sight of what is right in front of us. We need to be smarter so that we don't get caught up in the illusion and lose ourselves or even our loved ones. Thank you for watching this episode. If you want to see other celebrity car collections, let me know in the comments below. Please make sure you like and subscribe to this video and channel since that will help us make more content like this for you to enjoy.